an AEW star has been suspended from the company. We're going to talk about that in detail right here on The Angle Show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget, we got a giveaway at 100,000 subscribers. Uh, just really quickly, I know some people have been asking. They said, Ango, you said there might be some other surprises. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a live stream, 100K. Once we hit 100K subscribers, whoever's there live in the chat, we're going to give away multiple prizes, including a World Heavyweight Championship replica belt. Yeah, you know, you might want to click subscribe. It's going to be really dope. And with that being said, let's just kind of jump right into it. WWE Night of Champions 2024. Is it happening again? Nobody really knows 100% for sure. Uh, but we do know that WWE does have plans for a pay-per-view or excuse me, premium live event uh, that is scheduled to take place late May 2024. And the rumor is that this will be the next installment for WWE in Saudi Arabia. Um, as you guys all know, WWE did Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia uh, before. Obviously, WWE did Crown Jewel in November. They haven't been back in Saudi Arabia since. But WWE also just launched the WWE Experience, uh, which is like this really cool thing that you could walk into and see a whole bunch of stuff. Kind of looks like what a physical Hall of Fame would look like. I don't know. Just really dope. Um, obviously we know WWE has been very vocal about being a global product, right? And this was something that Triple H had announced several years ago with NXT popping up globally, but it looks like WWE is just trying to take the entire brand globally. Obviously stadium shows, international stadium shows have been a really big success for WWE. WWE just did Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia. Uh, I would like to see Night of Champions come back especially because this would be post-WrestleMania. This would be the perfect time for Cody Rhodes to headline a pay-per-view as WWE champion. Um, and then, of course, you got to factor in Bayley potentially being women's champion by that point in time. Obviously, you have no idea what's going to happen with the tag team championship belts. Obviously, we know they're going to split, but who will be holding those belts? Those are all things that we need to consider. And plus, WWE, you know, there's been this rumor of women's mid-card belts for over a year now. I've talked about it. Uh, I would love to see those types of belts being defended on the line. Uh, Night of Champions 2024, more than likely happening in Saudi Arabia. Do you guys want to see Night of Champions return, or do you guys want to see WWE go back to its original vision, which was King and Queen of the Ring? Remember, that was originally planned for last year, but then it was changed to Night of Champions. Will WWE make that choice? I don't know, but I think that's a really good question. We can't forget about that. King and Queen of the Ring, that wasn't something that's gone down yet. Uh, under this new Triple H regime. I think it'd be really dope if they did it, but unfortunately, there's been nothing added to it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, WWE made some changes for WrestleMania 39. Wait, excuse me, that's a lie. WrestleMania 40. Isn't it amazing? There's been so many WrestleManias, and yet at this point in time, I still get confused which number we are truly on. Um, but yeah, Gunther, obviously going into WrestleMania, the expectation is that Gunther will be wrestling on night one. A lot of people are wondering what type of match are they going to go with. WWE has obviously been teasing quite a bit with the Intercontinental Championship. And at first, we initially thought that it was, in fact, going to be a multi-man ladder match. That is obviously not going to be the case because WWE announced on Raw yesterday that there will, in fact, be a gauntlet match, uh, which I think is dope. There's a lot of great competitors in this. Ricochet is going to be in it. Um, kind of weird that Ricochet is in it, considering that he hasn't been on weekly television, but obviously they did the segment with him and Adam Pearce to kind of make sense of it. So I get that. Um, but obviously the big question here is what does WWE do? There's two front runners, right? It's Chad Gable and Sami Zayn. And I, I feel like WWE, you know, originally when we had talked about this months and months ago, it looked like WWE's plan was originally Chad Gable versus Gunther. We know that Chad Gable is expected a serious push post WrestleMania. Now, does that push begin at WrestleMania or does it genuinely happen after WrestleMania? This is a question I'm asking you guys, because if Chad Gable's push is to become after WrestleMania, then you should expect Sami Zayn versus Gunther one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. If the plan is for Chad Gable's push to begin at WrestleMania, then Chad Gable is the one to dethrone Gunther at WrestleMania 40. And quite frankly, that's what I would do. Gunther needs to be at the World Heavyweight Championship pitcher, 
and you got to have him lose the belt at some point. He's already made history, and it will be a career-making moment for somebody when they take the belt off of him. And guess what? Sami Zayn doesn't need it. But Chad Gable, breaking away from the comedy, being the one to dethrone Gunther, it is amazing storytelling. They, they're they continuing the story from September. They're talking about it. They're mentioning it. Um, so instead of a multi-man ladder match, it looks like WWE is either going to do a one-on-one match or a triple threat match. How do they get there with a the triple threat match? You could obviously have Chad Gable and Sami Zayn part of the finish in the gauntlet match or whatever it may be. But nonetheless, I think this is going to be really exciting. I think a lot of people aren't talking enough about Gunther and WrestleMania 40. Um, but of course, he holds the greatest intercontinental championship reign of all time. And therefore, for that reason, that is one of the big matches I am excited about. Obviously, I'm excited about Cody and Roman and The Rock and Rollins and Bailey and EO and all of these other things. But this match is not being talked about enough. Um, and I love what they've kind of been doing is, you know, with this Intercontinental Championship, by the way, they have made it where everybody desires this belt. And they're just not giving you a clear path to WrestleMania, which is great. you got to keep watching. But they keep telling different stories with different layers. And obviously, somebody will eventually emerge victorious. Uh, and that brings us to our final topic, breaking news. Sammy Guevara has been suspended by AEW. Um, not his first suspension with AEW. Not exactly sure why Sammy Guevara keeps finding himself in trouble uh, in this company, but Sammy Guevara has been suspended uh, amidst a controversial moment in his match with Jeff Hardy. Uh, on February 14th, Sammy Guevara had a match with Jeff Hardy, and basically Jeff Hardy suffered an injury. Now, during this match, while he suffered the injury, the concussion protocol was supposed to be in play. However, it was not adhered to. Uh, this was reported first by Fightful Select. It's a very important topic because concussions are no joke. Serious stuff. And Sammy Guevara still went for his finishing move despite the fact that he was not supposed to do his finishing move. I think without actually being there, I think this is probably some sort of miscommunication or something like that. I don't know. But it is genuinely shocking to me to see that Sammy Guevara finds himself in trouble uh, in a lot of different ways with this company. I think this kid has a lot of potential, but also at the same time, too, this kid ha doesn't have, like, the greatest track record, unfortunately, in my opinion. I don't think so. Uh, I think concussions are no joke. I don't think brain injuries are funny at all. Um, I'm not saying Sammy Guevara thinks it's funny, and that's why I'm hoping this seems to be, like, a miscommunication thing. But obviously, they have to be taken seriously. And, at, you know, from a company perspective, you have to make an example out of Sammy. Hey, like, this is what it means to take it serious. You're going to get suspended. I did find it interesting that other people have pointed out on Twitter that this is purely a coincidence because Mercedes Monet comes in in two weeks. Um, but also at the same time, too, I think that's just, you know, conspiracy, Twitter, wrestling talk, whatever. Um, obviously, this is uh, this is no joke, right? So. AEW is taking concussion seriously. I think it's a good thing. Sammy Guevara, I don't think he's doing this stuff intentionally, but at the same time, too, he can't seem to stay out of the spotlight when it comes to the drama and stuff like that. So hopefully things just get better and patched up and fixed up. Um, but also at the same time, too, this is just another sign that maybe Sammy Guevara isn't the most reliable person on the roster. Hopefully that is something that changes because I think he does have a bright future, um, but that does come within time.